Hello everyone. Today we came with a new topic which is one of the best top 5 trending field in IT domain. Today we are going to discuss about PG Diploma in Data Engineering from Nale Chennai. So if you are fresher then this course is definitely for you. If you are experienced people who want to switch their career in the Data Engineering then this course is definitely for you. So before starting the topic if you haven't subscribed my channel so do subscribe, like and share the video. The full form of NILET is National Institute of Electronics and Information Technology, Chennai. So this is one of the college which is running under Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology Government of India. This is the biggest advantage for doing PG program from NILET Chennai. If you want more information about the NILET Chennai, I have given the link in the description box. Please refer that link. You will get more information of NILET Chennai. Now let's see uh, what are the courses available under NILET Chennai. So there are more than 10 PG programs available in NILET Chennai. So currently we are seeing about PG program in the data engineering. Now we have two options for the PG program or PG program in data engineering. That is first is classroom and second one is online. Both syllabus are same. The only difference is in classroom you have to go attend the classes. And in online, you have to attend the classes, but you can attend from home. Okay. The only need for online is you need to have your own laptop or your company or uh, laptop is will also work. Okay. Now let's see the details of the courses. So this is PG program in data engineering. Classroom mode. So the last registration date is 14 10 2022 current date is 3 9 2022 please hurry up please do your registration as soon as possible because the process of nalet chennai is first come you will get the seat after completing like uh, after the last registration date uh, within three to four days the result will be displayed that is how many candidates will be allowed to do PG uh, program in the data engineering. And if you got selected, then you need to pay the fees on 17, 10, 2022. These are the date for within three to four days, you need to pay your first installment. And the course is going to start on 21, 10, 2022. So the, the actually basic agenda for the data science they have given. So data science refer to extraction of the knowledge from various volumes of the data that are structured and unstructured, which is the continuation of the data mining analytics. Okay. So this is somewhat too much technical in simple way we can see. So where you use data science, okay. Or data engineering. So you use data engineering in your day to day life, where exactly it is. You see Hotstar, you see prime, then you watch, uh, any kind of a movie, suppose if you're having interest in the horror movies and if you're watching movie continuously two to three times, then the fourth and fifth suggestion from Amazon or Prime, it would be same in the horror section. Why? Because they have some kind of algorithm at the back side that is under the data science. Second thing, if you can see uh, for the Flipkart and Amazon also, if you buy some kind of a thing, then they will show pop up in the same category. How it's happening? It is through data science the best example for the data science you can see about uh, when you watch the cricket on hotstar so the runs the forecast run then the run rate then the run rate after eight if you achieve eight runs then how much uh, run rate would be there mm -hmm. if you achieve uh, uh, 10 runs in and over so what will be your target after 50 hours so all those calculation it is through data science only okay so that is what in short in data science so if you want to know if you want to understand more deeply so they have given the discussion about the data science please do uh, read the discussion it it will give you insight more in depth of the data science okay and so if you're doing uh, the data engineering from this then uh, you will get to know something about uh, let me show you that one 
okay so this is the objective the objective of this program is to make statistical analysis data data scientist data analyst data big data engineer and then hadoop developer so these are the five to six fields the core fields if you do pg program from this institute you will definitely learn about this five to six domains and you will if you have that much knowledge that much capability so definitely you will get the job in this five to six sectors okay now how it how they work like they start from the basic if you don't know anything about uh, like abc of the linux they will teach you abc of the linux then they will do from base to the advanced level so there are four sections first is configuring platform for data engineering then data analytics and machine learning then understanding and working of the big data technology and the last one is implementing one two three and doing project so that is what pg program is all about okay so this is what like uh, they have give, categorize module 1 module 2 module 3 and module 4 and depending upon the hours it's 2 240 250 240 240 and 128 total is 840 now good news is what if you belong to scst category then there is no fees if you belong to open category then there is fees uh, which is 25000 if you pay in the first installment and 26000 in the second installment so believe me guys uh, this course fees are very less if you go in the market for this kind of a content let me show you again okay so if you want to learn this type of a content then the fees is too much high but as Nalet Chennai is a, comes under government of India, so they are providing such a low fees. Now the registration fees is one thousand rupees. Okay, you need to pay one thousand rupees for the registration purpose. If you get selected, then it will be added in your fee structure. If you not get selected, so in that case, it will be refunded for you. Okay, now this is like registration fees that is only thousand rupees. That is win-win situation for you. Uh, candidates are eligible but not selected, as I said. Course postponed. It might happen that they won't get the uh, the strength which they required, but it it don't uh, work like that. Most people get selected as well as the course get started at the time, and if the course is cancelled by some circumstances okay if you want to do and there is some kind of a prerequisite that if you want to do data engineering that you you need to have b b tech ms mca mcs then doc uh, degree in mathematics or statics then operation research economics or these are the things so many options are available so basically Anyone who don't know anything about the programming language also, you can do the data engineering. So they will be teaching each and every programming language which is needed in it. So now uh, the seats are only uh, like for the classroom, only 25. So if you want to go in the college and attend the seat, then you have to do ASAP as soon as possible. That is for SC category, there are only four seats. For ST category, there are only ten, uh, two seats and for others, for the open one, there are 19 seats so do hurry uh the clock is clicking okay now same thing if you go in the online one let me show you the same now it's the same one 840 let me show you this this is the online one okay the course is same 840 and then six month uh last date of registration is the same then provisional list and each and everything is same syllabus is also same same fees host there is uh, some difference in the fee structure so if we compare online and offline so offline that is the uh, classroom fees are high than your online okay 
the same uh, policy for the registration fee and then the online the seats are more and that is for 70 then uh, sc category 11 then st category only five then others are of uh, 54 okay so here it is how to apply you need to click on this link and uh, you need to uh, do transaction of 1000 rupees as given in the uh, prospectus i have also given the link of the prospectus so selection uh, criteria as i have told you that first come he will get the opportunity but here it is the same the first list of the provisional selected candidates will be published on the nilet chennai website so depending upon your documents uh, you have submitted uh, depending upon that uh, your selection would be there and how fast you do your registration so if you belong to SCST category then you need to get all these uh, documents in the pdf and send to them okay now there will be the verification background verification for SCST candidates whether uh, these people have uh, have uh, done the degree and second one is uh, whether the caste certificate is valid or not so for that you need to have other identity also so all this uh, all this prerequisite i have given in the description also i have given is the link of the uh, calendar so it will be easy for you to see uh, what are the details are required so also for others and they have given the original copies the proof of age the age should be more than uh, 20 then the mark sheet of your degree then your 10th and 12th if you are having the diplomas and then 10th diploma and your degree okay one passport size it's normal one okay the main thing is i want to say you about this section so if you are paying these fees and if you're discontinuing uh, the course so in that case your fees will not be refunded okay so that is true if you are entering then you need to complete your course second thing you need to complete your all assignment given by them in time to time and it's not that much hard also we can do it and after that the attendance should be more than 70 percentage okay so this is the course timing from 9 30 a.m to 5 30 p.m from monday to friday and don't worry about uh, like people uh, who are working i have also done my data science course from this institute so they uh, they have given the facility of the recorded session so if you are working professional so in that case whenever you are having the time so you can refer that video and learn it so if you have any kind of a question now this is the contact number of uh, dr sanjeev umar jaha you can definitely call to them so this is the course query so same uh, the important dates and the examination and certification structure how it will work so this is the staff information dr pratap kumar uh, he is the director dr sanjeev kumar jaha is the joint uh, director and head um, gayatri uh, she is uh, also one of the resource uh, then uh, jaya kodi she is also one of the resource Vignesh, then uh, Rajesh Varma, they are the faculties uh, who will be teaching you in each and every side. So this is the most important thing, like you need to see, that is page number, it seems 14. So what are the things uh, you will be learning? So in the configuration platform, uh, platform for the data engineering, you will be learning, understanding the Linux environment, what exactly Linux is. That is from your basic, okay, with respect to Linux, then this is the bash scripting okay with with respect to linux only so after that uh, you will be learning configuration secure and shell lan what exactly is then uh, with respect to user administration whatever it is needed whatever it is important with respect to linux and unix uh, you will be taught if you have any kind of a question so you can definitely ask to that okay so after that, uh, there is virtualization, the topic under the same one, module one. After that, uh, this is for the Java. 
so the they will be teaching each and everything from the basic concept of the oops until uh, the advance of the java okay till this now they will be taking also data warehousing using ms sql there are lots of things like basic of no sql awesome the syllabus is very very awesome apache then it comes under okay uh, then apache uh, installation and configuration like from basic how to do installation and configuration to the advanced level okay that is for the module one only so after that we are having the data analytics and machine learning and that you will be learning R. what is R? then what is R programming then python basics and what are the you know uh, python features then variable data loops and how to do it then again understanding data frame in the uh, python then data visualization using python time series so these are the topics you can see in detail please do uh, read this document i have given in the link and uh, the last one is it's an especially the page number it start from uh, let me okay starting from 14 this is a very important uh, documentation related to syllabus So this is what the syllabus is. You will be learning everything related to big data Hadoop also. Now here it is Hadoop. Three to four different things from different domain. We are learning in this uh, Nalet Chennai on uh, data engineering. Due to which you will be having the opportunity to work in four to five different domains. So this is what for today's session. If you have any kind of a doubt, please do ask in the comment section. We will definitely do our best to resolve your query.